Oh, first of all, I think women have been made crazy about calcium. Uh, they don't know how much to take, what kind of calcium to take. Women are at higher risk for losing mineral density from bones at earlier ages than men <clears throat> because women's uh, sex hormones begin to decline in midlife and that affects calcium status. Uh, we've been telling women to take very large doses of supplemental calcium. That may be way too much. Um, there is some very good research showing that uh, countries with the highest calcium intake have the highest rates of bone fractures, hip fractures. And also that countries with the highest rates of dairy intake have the highest rates of hip fracture. You know, that's pretty astounding you know, news, but that's the fact. Um, I think the key to calcium balance is vitamin D. Uh, if women get enough vitamin D, uh, they should be able to maximally absorb and use calcium from their diets. There are many dietary sources of calcium other than milk and dairy products, although milk and dairy products in moderation are fine. But uh, there are leafy, dark leafy greens like collards, uh, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, uh, sesame seeds. You know, there are many dietary sources. Also things like uh, sardines mashed up with the bones, which are very good. Uh, and you can get vitamin D by exposure to sunlight, which done carefully and intelligently is your best way to get it. I think also everybody should be taking 2,000 IU a day of vitamin D as a supplement. You have to take that with your largest meal so it'll be absorbed, it needs fat to be absorbed. Um, and on top of that, I recommend that women take no more than 500 to 700 milligrams of supplemental calcium. I usually recommend calcium citrate because that's the most absorbable form. So. If, if for any reason you don't want to use dairy products, and there are reasons for avoiding cow's milk and cow's milk products, um, I think there you, if you're eating a balanced diet rich in vegetables, um, you can maximally absorb dietary calcium if you've got enough vitamin D in your system.